Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Mr. President, Excellencies, it has been one year since the Russian Federation launched its illegal war against Ukraine. One year of aggression, of war crimes, of crimes against humanity. One year of brutality against the basic principles of the UN Charter, against the promise of democratic rights and freedoms, against the international rules-based order and respect for the sovereign equality of all member states. One year of death, displacement, and devastation occurring each day in territories invaded by Russia and reviewed in areas recovered by Ukraine. International IDEA reiterates its condemnation of Russia's illegitimate any moral war against Ukraine and urges the immediate and unequivocal withdrawal of all Russian military forces from Ukrainian territory. Until this occurs, we welcome the adoption, enforcement, and continued escalation of sanctions by an international community against the Russian Federation. Ultimately, the responsibility of the Russian Federation must be addressed in accordance with General Assembly Resolution 60-147 and Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This accountability is a matter of international law and rule of law must and shall prevail. We encourage the UN Secretary General to continue working to advance ceasefire talks and to support increased humanitarian access to the war-affected areas and protection of civilians. The resolution being debated today calls for a comprehensive, just, and lasting peace in Ukraine. Such an objective is inextricably connected to the democratic ambitions of the Ukrainian people. As International IDEA has noted previously, this conflict is about democracy as much as it is about sovereignty. Over many years, and despite many obstacles, Ukrainians have repeatedly affirmed their commitment to democratic values. The result has been steady improvement across a variety of democratic indicators, including respect for media freedoms, the fight against corruption, and the conduct of free and fair elections as measured by international ideas, indices, and reports. Today, this hard-won progress hangs in the balance. But let us be clear, Ukrainians have chosen democracy. There's a comprehensive, just, and lasting peace in Ukraine must be a democratic peace determined by and for Ukrainians. Support from the international community should reflect this democratic imperative. Among the needs of a post-war Ukraine, democracy support and the defense of human rights will be crucial. Excellencies, the outcome of this institutional process will reverberate far beyond Ukraine. It is a test of the defense and rebuilding of inclusive and sustainable democracy as a guarantor of rights for both people and nations. In this effort, we should not lose sight of the need to enable a path for democracy to return to Russia as well, as part of securing a lasting and regional and global peace. We must say clearly, a democratic Russia would have not unleashed this tragedy. Advancing democracy 
is the single best way to build and guarantee global peace. Ukrainians are putting their lives on the line every day to defend the values that we claim to hold, the values of the UN Charter, of sovereignty, human rights, and multilateralism, helping them to preserve a future for Ukrainian democracy will be our greatest tribute to them. I thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance.